at some point we heard what sounded like uh, firecrackers, um, about four quick pops. And I don't know, maybe five minutes later, we, there, there was just lots of gunpowder smell in there, you know, like somebody fired off a gun or something. Those fatal shots would take the life of East Texas agriculture business owner, Ronnie Haraney. According to the Gregg County Sheriff's Office, Haraney was shot at his house at the intersection of Tryon and Sam Page Road, just north of Longview around seven Monday evening. We uh, immediately afterwards, we heard what sounded like a, a car taking off. And then uh, at that point, we heard people screaming. Other witnesses tell us Haraney was answering his front door when he was shot four to five times. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. And we didn't have any reason to think that anything was going on uh, out of the ordinary because this is a really quiet neighborhood and you know nothing ever happens over here. For now, those in the area are stepping up security. We're going to lock our doors and you know we're going to set our security systems you know even more uh, than we used usually do. Haraney was the co-owner of Haraney's Feed Store in downtown Longview with his mother. According to our news partners, the Longview News Journal, it is one of the city's oldest continuously operated family businesses starting back in 1940. He and his family have stores throughout East Texas and places such as Longview and Marshall. Stores, which many say will feel empty now that he is gone. You go in and talk to him and he was always just eager to help and if you needed anything, he would take his time, take time to, you know, help you out, whatever you needed it, you know. The community now asking why a man, loved by many, was taken in an act of senseless violence. They're, they lived here a long time and, um, you know, you anytime you see them, you, they wave, you wave, and they're just great people. And I just really don't know why this would happen. Daniel Pierce, KETK News.